Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna share three different cleaning business models with you. And yes, one of them can earn you $1,000 a day or more in profit. If you're looking for a complete step-by-step -step guide of how to get your cleaning business started, I also have a video that covers that, which I'll link below. But in this video, we'll dive into these three different models so you can see which one is right for you and your financial goals. But before we do, check out this clip from Joshua Mayo's channel to see what he says about starting a cleaning business. And so I asked him, I said, how much are you making each month from cleaning these offices? And he told me that he's contracted at $10,000 per month to clean Monday through Friday. He also told me that this wasn't his only location, that he had over two dozen other locations, all paying him between five and $10,000 per month each. But this is a business that he's only been doing for a few years, and he's been able to scale it to a nearly $1 million per year business. If you want to watch the full video, I'll also link it below. And be sure to subscribe to his channel. As you can tell from that clip, I'm not the only one who sees and is advertising the incredible potential of starting a cleaning business. So cleaning business model number one, the solo cleaner. This is how most cleaning business owners start out, and it's how I started out over 20 years ago, but that doesn't mean that you have to. The benefits of this are it's a good way to get your feet wet and see if it's something you wanna do long-term, or it could even be a really incredible side hustle. Imagine getting just one office building to clean Monday to Friday nights after your nine to five job. It takes you an hour to an hour and a half, and you take home an extra $2,000 a month. That is an absolute reality. But you can also go all in on this business as a solo cleaner. And I did that for over 10 years and loved what I did. In those years, I specialized in cleaning luxury residential properties. Once you get your rates to the top of your market, which doesn't have to take long, you can make six figures a year, even working part-time. The drawback to this model is that at some point, your income will get capped. We all know the expression, time is money. So when you're simply trading your time for money and your time is limited, your income will be too. Many are okay with that, especially since they know the only person they have to worry about is themselves, but others want more. So if you wanna take your income to the next level, what should you do? This brings us to cleaning business model number two, the small team. This could mean hiring one person to help you out or a few, but the same principles apply regardless of how big you wanna go. And one quick note before we go further, I always hire subcontractors in my cleaning business, never employees. I explain why in my online course, but for the rest of this video, just know that when I say employee, I'm merely referring to the subcontractors that work for me. So with that out of the way, the biggest benefit here is that now you're not just trading your time for money, but you're trading someone else's time for money. Obviously you pay them and I recommend paying them very well. But this is where you start making passive income with your cleaning business. In other words, money you didn't personally trade your time to make. And you have options here. You could start focusing on just finding clients and let your staff do all the cleaning. Or like in the video clip I showed you earlier, you can handle some jobs and let them handle the rest. But another option is to work alongside your employees and this has benefits. Number one, it allows you to oversee the quality of their work in real time and train them as needed. Number two, it might keep them more accountable to working hard for you, especially if you're close by. And number three is that you can still make way more money in less time, even having just one employee with you. Here's an example. Let's say I'm cleaning a home and it's a three hour job at $75 an hour for a total of $225 per cleaning. If I go alone, I'll make $75 an hour. But if I take someone else along with me, then we can do that same job in just an hour and a half. What I pay them varies on experience level, but for this example, let's say I pay them $40 an hour which at an hour and a half of work totals $60. That means I now just took home $165 from the job after paying my helper, and instead of making $75 an hour, I just made $110 an hour. You string four of those together in a workday, and you start to see how hiring a helper, even in residential cleaning, can make you way more money in less time. And finally, cleaning business model number three, mass expansion. This is where you go big and create two main systems, one for finding clients and one for subbing that out to subcontractors. 
And this is the model that was described in Joshua's video that I showed you earlier. That cleaning business owner had many buildings and many subcontractors, and you saw his income. And it really doesn't have to take long to get there. Imagine if you got just one or two new commercial contracts each month, which is very doable. You put your systems in place, you hire it out, and you move on to the next one. You don't have to do commercial cleaning with this business model. You could also do residential, construction, or even vacation rental cleaning. But I recommend commercial cleaning in this business model for a few reasons. I expand on all of these in my online course, but in short, here they are. Number one, consistency. It is the same thing day in and day out. You set up a system and you send someone in to clean it. And because I set up the same cleaning systems at all of my buildings, I can send in any employee to clean it and they'll know what to do. The list of duties might vary from building to building, but the system is the same. The same cleaning cart, the same cleaning products, the same color-coded towel system, you get the idea. Number two, if you go after office buildings and banks as opposed to retail stores, then they're only open normal business hours, meaning they're completely empty when it's time to clean in the evenings. This is my ideal client, and these buildings are also easier to hire out. And number three might sound strange to you, but there is very little emotion involved in commercial cleaning. In residential, you're in someone's home. They may be there while your staff is cleaning, watching their every move and bringing issues to your attention later. And this is to be expected. Most people care about their homes. And if you specialize in residential cleaning, that's what you want. But commercial spaces are just different. It's a place of employment, it's a workspace, and generally these clients are way more laid back, making it much easier to hire out to a subcontractor. So how do you get to $1,000 a day of profit with this business model? It really isn't complicated, and as I said earlier, it doesn't have to take long. Find commercial spaces to clean, and in your bidding process, ensure that you as the business owner can clear $50 to $100 a day on that contract after paying a subcontractor. If you can clear more, even better. But the longer the cleaning takes at each building, the fewer buildings you'll need to get to $1,000 a day. And it's for this reason that I have a minimum in my cleaning business for one and a half hours of labor per night per job. If an office only requires 45 minutes of cleaning a night, I may still accept it, but I tell them that my minimum rate applies and normally they look for someone else. Otherwise, you would need way too many buildings to get to $1,000 a day. And more buildings equals more new contracts, more negotiations when those contracts are up for renewal, more employees, more training, and so on. So go for bigger contracts and fewer of them to reduce your workload as the cleaning business owner. And the best part of this business, regardless of the model you choose, is it's typically always based on repeat customers. I talk about this more in other videos, but in short, you put in some work to land a client one time, but the lifetime value of each client could be huge. For example, if you get a weekly residential client at $200 a week and you keep them for 10 years, the lifetime value of that single client to your business is $104,000. Or in commercial cleaning, find a building to maintain that pays you $2,500 a month and keep that client for just five years. And the lifetime value of that one client is $150,000. Regardless of which business model you choose, one thing is for sure. You can make an incredible income as a cleaning business owner and the cleaning industry isn't going anywhere. Build your cleaning business right, and it will even be recession-proof. If that's a topic you want me to expand on, let me know in the comments below. But to wrap up this video, you can make a lot of money as a cleaning business owner. Put in the work, have confidence in yourself, and just start. So thank you, Joshua Mayo, for shouting out the cleaning industry on your channel. Be sure to give him a follow. Check out my online course link below, like this video if you found value in it, subscribe to follow along, and as always, happy cleaning.